Welcome to Going Live with Global Learning. I am Tia and today I am here with Todd who is a study abroad advisor and coordinator, right? That's right. right. Awesome. So please tell us about yourself and what study abroad and virtual programs you have led so far. Sure. Uh, my name is Todd Seville and I'm the financial services coordinator in the business and IT department. And I have been drinking the, Kirk, uh, the Kirkwood Kool-Aid for about 17 years here. Oh, I love it. Nice. I love what I do. I love who I do it for. And uh, one of the, the uh, most uh, adventuresome things that, that I do here at Kirkwood is lead study of bronze. Mm. And I've been doing this since 2009. Oh, wow. So I've done it a few times, sure. Oh, wow. How, yeah. many, how many countries have you visited then? Well, let's see. Um, Denmark and Germany and England and uh, Australia. Wow. And we are putting one together here for next May 2024 to France. Wow. So it's great. That's it's so a, fun. It's a lot of fun. It, it's it's such a good time. And, you know, and, and, and students really, I, I tell them when, when I, I talk to them about uh, mm -hmm. what study abroad is and why you may consider it, it's one of these opportunities that, that students here at Kirkwood have mm -hmm. that it's, uh, it's a rare opportunity. Yeah. And they, they need to know that Kirkwood does a fantastic job, you know, one of the best in the nation's mm -hmm. leading these short term really? study wow. abroad experiences. And I, I've seen it happen. It, it's it can be a life changer mm. and definitely an eye opener. Yeah, that's awesome. That's what I've heard, like even from other instructors who've gone like, yeah, the experience of what you learn, like you just pick like, the culture and stuff. Oh, it's it is. Yeah, it's fantastic. And, you know, and it's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. In fact, if, if you look at it on a percentage level in terms of uh, the, the enrollment that we have here in Kirkwood and how many mm -hmm. students take advantage of it, it's less than 5%. Really? Which surprises me because I know not everybody's interested in traveling and mm -hmm. certainly not traveling abroad. But one thing that I, I really emphasize and encourage students to consider is, you know, it's a big world out there. Mm -hmm. And it, it goes beyond the borders of Iowa, and it certainly goes beyond the borders of, of our country here. Yeah, definitely. And to have that exposure and to have that experience, it, it's, it's just, again, it's an eye opener. Yeah, a sure. lot of times it's a life changer. And it's something that one thing's for sure, you will never forget the experience. Mm -hmm. you, you, you will not forget the uh, some of the relationships, some of the things you see, do, encounter. It, mm. It's uh, it's wonderful. It's uh, you know I, I have clearly drank, drank, <laughs> drank the Kool Aid on the study abroad. Too. That's awesome. It's so awesome that you get to go and like lead a group of students. It is. It's spe it's special too because you, for me personally, as as a faculty, you know you you get to know students to a certain degree mm -hmm. in the classroom. Yeah. But let's let's face it. When when you travel <laughs> with people. For for two two and a half weeks at a time, you you take that you take that to a whole new oh, level. I'm sure. <laughs> it is it is a learning experience. Oh yeah, for sure. In many ways. Yeah. Do you have any like favorite like memories like from your trips? Uh, they're, they're, yeah, I, I have a lot of. Uh, I don't know if I'd call them favorite, and some of them I certainly can't talk about on this podcast. <laughs> that's for sure. But <laughs> they're memories nonetheless. But. You know, some of the favorite memories, I've been to, to Denmark more than any other um, mm. country. And it's just, I, words, pictures, video mm. can, cannot, do, uh, cannot do it justice uh, mm. in, in, where, wherever you may go. And, you know, I'm looking at these signs here, Australia, Italy, France, Costa Rica, Brazil, Peru, Morocco, Scotland, Nepal. I mean, students really need to know that this is a real opportunity mm -hmm. and it, it, it's a it's a it's a real, it's a real eye opener. Yeah. Um, but in terms of experiences that stand out, um, so many laughs, so many memories. You know, cobblestone streets, nine hundred year old cathedrals, Viking oh, wow. ships. Um, you know, you know, London. I mean, that's we're going to be in Paris here. Well, you know, crazy. next May. Yeah. Uh, it, it just. It's amazing, it's awesome. and I, I highly encourage all of my students, anybody I talk to, mm -hmm. whether they go with me to France or go somewhere else, mm -hmm. there's so many benefits. Yeah. There's so many benefits for students. Of course, yeah. I mean, you get to experience a whole other culture. Like, you know, you might read up on something or hear about something, then you get to experience it and just, yeah, that would be just so awesome. And, and you're right when you say that, and, and there's, such a, there's such a distinct difference when you mm -hmm. say an experience. It's not, 
it's I wouldn't call it an experience, you know, uh, watching a movie or a video about mm -hmm. it. I wouldn't call it an experience looking at a book or some pictures on, you know, social media about mm -hmm. it. That may be some knowledge, mm -hmm. you know, and that's nice. But the experience, being there, mm -hmm. eating the food, feeling the culture, yeah. being on the streets. I mean, it, it's smelling. The, it, it, it's a it's a whole different quote, experience yeah. and, and something you never forget. Right. I mean, it's a whole new environment. I mean, like, yeah, all the memories. And you know, like you were saying, too, like even like when you take a group of students and you create those memories, like yeah. just the extra like, you know, bond that you create with them. And it's different than a classroom. It's like, oh, look, we're like friends kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the things I, I without a doubt, I think I'm most proud of here at mm. Kirkwood. Of, of the 17 years I've been here is developing those relationships with students that go beyond the classroom mm -hmm. and uh, and exist beyond the classroom. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, been doing this long enough that I, I've had st students come and go and graduate from my program. Mm -hmm. They're out in the workforce now and they're, they're friends and mm -hmm. and I still you know see some of them and and what's a topic that, that comes up? Study you know, abroad. <laughs> it, it's study abroad. It's not, hey, let's talk about that, you know, assignment in personal finance or selling <laughs> class. That's, a, you know, sometimes. But mm -hmm. it's the, again, it's those experiences. Yeah. The experiences make the memories. Oh, yeah. And the, the, the memories, this is it. it it's it, it, It's got memories written all over it. How could it not? Mm -hmm. And that's what I encourage students to consider. Yeah. I say, listen, what other time do you suppose would be a better time than now to do this. Mm. I mean, you're, you, you, you're, again, you're going to graduate, you're going to get that job, perhaps start that family, you're going to have your two or three weeks, four weeks, if you're lucky, a vacation, and mm -hmm. you're, you're going to get into the mainstream and, and flow of life, and, you know, it, it's going to be, uh, you know, someday. And one of my mottos is, well, today is, mm -hmm. is someday, you know, yep. someday is today. Yeah. You know, not, not, you know, someday down the road because that keeps getting kicked down the road. Mm -hmm. Make things happen and, and then you'll have your someday mm -hmm. and you'll, you'll remember it. Yeah. That, you, you certainly will. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, do you have any messages to like students who'd be interested in study abroad or even for other faculty members who are leading um, a group? Yeah, do it. You will not regret it. In fact, uh, it's, it's kind of funny because when, when I talk about it and I get these questions a lot, mm -hmm. I, I, I have never had of how many, I don't need eight, nine, ten, I'm not even sure how many I've done. Um, I've never had a student say, oh, wow, I, you know, I wish I wouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I've had several students come back and, and they've done it again. They said, wow. you know, this has been such a great experience. My, my whole worldview has been broadened and expanded. Mm -hmm. Why not? And and I've had students do it again. Wow! I mean, that tells it, you something about it, the program. It does. Doing it again. <laughs> yes, it, it it does. It really does. But uh, yeah, you know, I I know that it's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. But again, what I encourage students to do, if they have any interest at all in, in studying and traveling abroad, this is something they really, really mm. need to consider. Yeah. And it's one of these things, you know, back in the old dark ages when I was, you know, in college up at U and I, I. I, I, I didn't take advantage of it. In mm. fact, I don't know if they even had such a thing <laughs> really? like we have here. Mm. And so now I look at it all these years later, it's like, I'm just glad I had the opportunity right, to right. coordinate and lead a, an experience like this. Mm -hmm. And personally, it, it makes me feel uh, proud that, uh, that, that I can do this yeah, with students and for students because I, I've seen the changes. I have one story that, that I can share with you. Oh, yes, and it, it, <laughs> it, it, it's, uh, and, and, and it's true. And I, I still remember his name's James. It was the very first study abroad um, that we did. It was in to Denmark. And this, uh, this student, he, he, didn't, he didn't need the credits. He had already graduated. And he thought, you know what, this, you know, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this as a graduation gift to myself because, mm. you know, when else am I gonna do this? Mm -hmm. You know, my, my life is about ready to change and it's, it's a new chapter and, you know, when might that someday be, if not now? So he goes on to study abroad to Denmark. And again, it was, you know, his graduation gift to himself. He has a, <laughs> believe me, I was there, he had a great time. <laughs> he, James had a great time. <laughs> and we, we, we get back and a couple of weeks go by and, and then he comes knocking on my door uh, here on campus. 
and he's all dressed up. He's got a little suit on and <laughs> he's looking sharp. And then he comes in. I said, James, what's going on, man? He's like, oh, yeah, I just uh, had an interview and I've been going to these job fairs. And he said, you know what? One, the, the one thing I really didn't anticipate, you know where this is going. The one thing I didn't anticipate, everybody asked him about. It, it wasn't his GPA. It wasn't that he got a degree. You know, it, it was the one thing that stood out and it was the study abroad. Mm. They all wanted to hear about it. And so in terms of a, a resume builder, something that's going to mm. differentiate you, from the stack, right. this is one of those things. Right, I mean, think about that. Like, yeah, like even interviews and stuff like that, like the experience that employers would look for. Yeah, wow. yeah, it's, it's, so there's many benefits and perks. You, yeah, it looks great on a resume. Um, and yeah, it's, it's when you're traveling in a, a, as a group and everything's, for the most part, you'll have some expenses that come out of your mm -hmm. pocket and food and, you know, you have free days that you can go mm -hmm. do your own thing and and uh, but most of it's paid for and so you're getting it at a, you know you're going at a cost at, at, at a fraction of what it'd be if you were to do it yourself right. Right. and so it's like you look at all the benefits mm -hmm. and you think well, you know really why not yeah today you know could yeah. be that someday yeah today's the day to sign up yeah yeah well, thank you so much, Todd. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you so much for coming and sure. sharing your experiences and what you do. And yeah. thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is Growing Live with Global Learning. And if you would like to learn any more information, please check out Kirkwood's website. And yeah, thank you for watching.